Welcome to Beer, Beer Corner USA's Beers of the Week, Oktoberfest version. Aaron couldn't be here tonight, so I rounded up some more of the Huber House bartenders. Hey. Of course, I'm Chris Patini, one of the bartenders down here, and we've got... Uh, Brianna. Max. Amy. And Amy, yeah. All right, prost, guys. Prost. Hey, so it's Oktoberfest season, and we love this down here at the Crescent Moon. We throw one heck of a big party. You know, everyone always asks, why did October, why are we doing Oktoberfest in September? So let's we'll do a little history first as we get into our beers. You know, Oktoberfest is originally a celebration of a wedding between the Crown Prince Ludwig I and Ther Princess Therese of Saxony Hildenberghausen on October 12, 1810. Yeah, I know the details are a little funny. Where's the beer come in? They partied for three weeks. And they had so much fun, they did it again the next year and the next year. And in the 1950s, it got official. They, they tapped the keg, they had to clear it open, and they decided the weather needed to be better, so they moved it up, celebrated three weeks up to the 12th, rather than three weeks after. So, for all you people who wanted to know, that's why. So it's Oktoberfest. Cheers! Prost! Prost! We're going to try Spaten Oktoberfest from the Brauerei Spaten in Munich, Germany. Founded in 1397, it has an ABV of 5.9%. We're starting off with Spotten's Oktoberfest. The original Oktoberfest, the first one at the wedding. I know this is one of my favorites. It's very yeah, high in my list. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, I like the sweetness of it. Uh, sweetness. It goes down real easy. Oktoberfest beers are dangerous. You can very, drink them like crazy. Very well balanced beer. Mm -hmm. Extremely. Definitely one that you can get a whole mug of and not have a problem finishing it. Or a boot. Or a mm -hmm. boot. Right? Definitely. Very good boot beer. It's a, it's, a, it's a big seller. It's one of the top, I'd say one of the most popular ones down here. And from Munich, it's one of the authentic Oktoberfests you would find at the real Oktoberfest, which luckily Amy and I got to go to last year. Gross. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, I know, I know. Anyway, good beer, guys. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Gross. 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 All right, now we're going to try the Eyinger Oktoberfest Martin from the Brauerei Eyinger in Eying, Germany, founded in 1878. It's 5.8% alcohol by volume. Our next beer is my personal favorite this year, the Eyinger Oktoberfest, Brauerei von Eying. It's such a good beer. Mm. Yeah, I would have to say that bit this lighter, is definitely one of my favorites, too. bit lighter than the Spaten. Yeah. Uh, same level of sweetness, though. A little bit Very, more hops, don't you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It has a little more hop noticeable to it. Uh, mm -hmm. On the when you get this one here in the states, it's listed as uh, Oktoberfest Merzen because it's not actually brewed in the city limits of Munich. Sure. It can't truly be called an Oktoberfest over there, but here in the states, we're lucky enough to get to drink it. So I like this beer. It, it is also one of my favorites every year. And uh, it goes it will, really fast. It will be on tap inside in the Crescent yep. the, or in the Huber House during, during Oktoberfest. Fest. You gotta hunt this nice. one out. We don't yeah. put it on all the trailers like all the rest of them. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's safe Very to say that this hunt. is definitely an employee favorite, like mm. an overall employee favorite. Yeah, this is a mug club favorite too. Our mug club right. members love this beer too. So. Sure. Mm. You can get it in bottles um, up in the Crescent Moon if the Huber House isn't open and you're here. Yeah. Otherwise, you can get it. You know, and Beertopia is selling Beertopia. a whole yeah. lot of it. Mm. Yep, $3.29. Bottle. That's not bad over here, Toby. Oh. I think we no. need to take some more of this home tonight. Right. Keep the party rolling. Woo. Prost. Prost. Lastly, we have the Sam Adams Oktoberfest, brewed by the Boston Beer Company in Boston, Massachusetts, founded in eight, 1984, and this beer comes in at 5.3% ABV. The last beer we're going to take a look at today is actually going to be an American beer, Sam Adams Oktoberfest. And I grabbed this one uh, because Sam Adams is the largest American-owned brewery. And this Oktoberfest actually did win an award in Germany as a top-notch Oktoberfest. It actually won uh, uh, against the Germans at one point in time. So I thought, you know, let's give these guys a little shot and try that. During Oktoberfest, if you... Ooh. Did you get that one down? Oh, a little mess. I made a mess. Mm. And, uh... 
you know, when you're outside, you're having all the Oktoberfest beers from Germany on the trailers outside. You can also go inside with your mugs, and you can get any of the American Oktoberfests inside. Uh, there's there's um, Shells and, and uh, Shiner and uh, Lucky Bucket and all kinds. So Shells is exceptionally good this year. Shells, like that did this year. Shells is very this good. Year. That's they did. Yeah. Uh, we've a lot of good American Oktoberfests, but uh, let's yeah. give a whirl on the Sam Adams. Okay. All right. Throw us to this before. Let's give it a whirl. Still has that traditional sweet malty smell. Has that nice amber color. It is a beautiful colored beer. Sweetness is a lot like the spot. It's yeah. Reminds me of the spot in a lot. A lot. Real authentic Munich style. Uh, but it finishes really clean. Yeah, but it's still very refreshing mm -hmm. at the same time. Still easy to drink. Still, mm -hmm. still a beer you can easily drink yep. plenty of. Yep, you can refill your mugs if you bring a half liter or a liter. You can get those refilled under or in a Crescent Moon. And outside, and in Huber House, and and all, and all the bars. And, and if you don't have a mug, we're actually going to have a glassware stand outside where you can pick those up and buy them. So, I don't know. I think overall, I think Sam Adams did a good job making he an Oktoberfest. Mm -hmm. There's, you notice it's spelled with a C and not a K. You know why? Because it's, it's American. American. Cheers to that. Cheers. 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 We know it's Oktoberfest beers of the week, but we had to let you know that we have a delicious new shot this year. It is a German chocolate cake that we've created. And this is yummy. It is scrumptious, so prost everyone. Zum Wohl. Zum Wohl. Down the hatch. Mm. Wow, Amy, That's what is in that? Shark. Yeah, what um, is it is um, UV cake, a um, Trader Vic's chocolate liqueur topped with a tiny bit of UV coconut. Mm. Yum. And I'll be at the Shot Tent Friday night if you want to come by and get around to those guys. So, yeah, I would come see Brianna on it. Friday. Brianna we'll and her dirndl uh -huh. selling shots. <laughs> we'll yeah. take care of you. <laughs> that was good. Oh, great guys, guys. Prost. Prost. I want to thank everyone for checking in on our Oktoberfest Beers of the Week, and I want to thank the rest of my Huber House bar staff, not all of them, but who came today, Bree, Max, Amy, thank I can't you. wait for Oktoberfest. Are you guys excited? I am for sure. very excited. For sure. You guys have very never excited. been. It's a party. It is. It's so fun. We close down the parking lot. We shut down 36th Street. Come ready to polka, eat German food, and have a good time. And bring the family, because it is family friendly. Yes, it also. is. Saturday during the day is family day. Uh, it is a great event. It is the biggest Oktoberfest in Omaha. We can't wait to see you guys all here. And, and, and as always, guys, don't forget, check us out on Facebook. We've got pages for, for all f four of the bars. Well, three bars and Beertopia. We'll look at it that way. And um, go to the website www.beercornerusa.com sign up for that free e-newsletter comes out every week we put a lot of hard work Amy puts in some hard work keep you informed we want to make sure you know what beers are on tap what events are going on and, and everything that happens down here on Beer Corner USA so until we see you at Oktoberfest we're going to keep drinking these beers Prost! Right. Yeah, Prost. Prost. Heaven there is no beer, no beer. that's why